Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something pretty exciting. So we are going to a book signing at my local Barnes and Noble, which is something that I have never done before. Not because like I haven't wanted to, but because Memphis is just not usually a stop on book tours, which sucks. So um, I feel like a lot of you guys probably are in the same boat that I am and you never have book signings at your local bookstore. So um, I decided to vlog it for you guys because I feel like for so many of us, we have to like travel to meet authors. And I'm just so excited that I get to go to like my local Barnes and Noble um, and meet one of the authors I've been reading since I was a little kid. So yeah, Sarah Dessen is going to be at my Barnes and Noble. It's an event that's sponsored by Epic Reads, which I am super excited about because I love Epic Reads. Um, and I've been reading Sarah Dessen books since I was 12. Um, I remember distinctly reading The Truth About Forever first, and then I read like all of her books that were out. Um, I haven't read anything that is more recent of hers though. So the book that she's promoting tonight is The Rest of the Story, and I am so excited. It sounds like such a good contemporary read for the summer. Um, and then I know um, I'll probably end up buying Saint Anything because that was a book that she released either last year or the year before that I was really interested about and I just never got around to buying. So yeah, from everything I'm reading online though, she's only signing books that you buy tonight. So I'm not going to bring the books on my shelf, even though I want to, because I would really love for her to sign The Truth About Forever. But yeah, um... I'm not going to because it already said on there that she's not going to do it. So yeah, I feel like that's probably a rule by whoever put together the event and not necessarily her. She was at the, she was at BookCon, I guess last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. Uh, but we didn't even try to meet her because we knew she was going to be here like after our trip and we would be able to go tonight. So yeah it starts in about 45 minutes so i'm gonna leave the house in about 15 minutes it's raining which sucks um but whatever the event's not outside anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah i'm really excited so the event is from 6 30 to 8 30 she's going to talk about her book um and then she's gonna sign copies and it's gonna be great and yeah so Let's get going. Hey guys, Paige from the future here. I just wanted to let you know that during the event they had a blue information sheet and on that sheet it said no video and no camp like pictures while she was talking um sarah said like right before they started that she didn't care if there were pictures um or video happening in the event but then during the event somebody told me to stop recording so i stopped recording but i wanted but the clip i'm about to show you I got when I was still allowed to record and then even after that I think like the workers were talking and they like one of them said no they're allowed to record but I was like I'm not gonna be the problem child I'm just not gonna record anymore so yeah let me show you that clip bakery here in Memphis Small Cakes and we got her a lovely little cupcake. <laughs> um, so she's going to take that with her tonight but I would like for all of us to sing happy birthday to Sarah before she comes. Okay so here we go. Oh. 
gonna, um, can you guys hear? I'll, I can yell into the microphone. Um, I'm here to talk about the rest of the story, which is my 14th book. And it came out on Tuesday, which seems like a long time ago now. Um, and if you've read my other books, you know that most of them, either they're set in Colby, which is my beach town, or in Lakeview, which is my college town. This is a new setting. It's a lake called uh, North Lake or Lake North, depending on which side you live on. If you live on the older side where all the people live year round, it's uh, North Lake, but if you're fancy, it's Lake um, So it makes this whole sort of, not a have and have not, but a vacation. I, I explored this also in uh, The Moon and More. I've always been really interested since I was a waitress on you know the people that work for the community and the people in the community and how all of that works. And um, so I was really interested in that. And in this, in this book, my narrator ends up cleaning rooms in a motel that her grandmother owns at the lake. Uh, my narrator, Emma Saylor, her mom passed away from an opioid overdose um, many years earlier. And she didn't really know her and she definitely didn't know her family. But as the book begins, she ends up having to go stay with her mom's family for three weeks. Um, and I have a really big family on my mom's side that I've spent every summer with my whole life. Um, and I can't imagine if I was dropped in with these people suddenly at the age of 16. They would seem completely insane, you know? But I always thought, what is it like to sort of find out this whole other part of your life? Um, and I was also really interested in the, one thing about Emma Saylor that we have in common is she reads the obituaries every day. I love to read the obituaries, and my husband thinks it's so morbid, but <laughs> I've found that a lot of writers read obituaries, but for me, I, I don't read like the national ones, it's only in the Raleigh News and Observer, which is my local paper, and forever I've read the obituaries, and I always feel very comforted. Um, the rest of the story, of course, and then I also picked up Once and For All and Saint Anything because I didn't already have these, and I'm at a red light, you guys, so I promise I'm not, like, trying to pull out books while I'm driving, um, but yeah, so she signed them. Um, I think she just personalized this one, but yeah. Okay, I'm so excited. I got to tell her that she was like one of the first YA authors I ever read, and I also told her that I just gave my mom like five of her books. Um, and so she was like talking about how a lot of her books she hears about like mothers and daughters reading, which I think is really, really cool. But yeah, I just gave my mom like five of them, and I was like, I read these when I was a teenager, so now you need to read them. Um, because obviously when I was a teenager, I wasn't telling my mom what I was reading. I was just reading. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really good event there was a pretty good turnout they ran out of seats um, and she answered a bunch of questions about writing and you guys like I kind of like almost teared up for a minute because she was just like talking about how hard writing can be and I'm definitely in that point in my like writing process where it is just really hard uh, and she mostly like she also talked about how she kind of treats writing as a muscle in a way so like even if she doesn't feel like it she sits down and she writes for at least 15 minutes every day so that it's part of her routine and so that if she's not doing it she feels weird and that's definitely what I've been thinking I need to do so it was kind of like reiterating something that I've already kind of been thinking for myself um, but yeah I just need to get there maybe I'll write tonight when I get home and after Becky and I record because we're about to go and record a podcast episode for you guys um, so yeah if you aren't following the podcast it's saved by the books it's always linked down below we just started it but there's already like eight episodes to watch so definitely go watch or listen because we're like all over the place and we do video and like just audio so yeah hopefully I get to this red light and I can tell you some quotes that she said so yeah after she stopped recording um, or after they told me to stop recording I was just like typing as fast as I can on my phone so I managed to get some quotes from her so this is one of the other things that almost made me tear up she said the hardest thing when you go into the arts is to believe you can do it and 
I definitely feel that way when it comes to even like owning the sticker shop. Like it's so hard when you, like I feel like the reaction when I became a nurse is so much different when, than when I tell people that I own a sticker shop um, and I run my own business. Now that it's, that I can kind of show them, like I can pull up my Etsy shop and they can see those sale numbers or they can pull up my Instagram and they can see like my creating co Instagram and stuff. They kind of get it after that, but like the reaction is always kind of like, Oh, okay. Whereas like when I was a nurse, it was like, Oh, that's awesome. You're amazing. And I don't know. I feel like they're both really hard professions in different ways. And I think it's definitely true with writing because I wrote for pretty much my whole life. I started writing when I was in like third or fourth grade and um, I never really considered myself a writer and I worked on a novel in college but I didn't tell anyone about it like I told like maybe two friends and that was it and so I never wanted to like say that like I was a writer because it was you know it wasn't I don't know if you write you probably get me <laughs> Um, but now I'm like just thinking about like how I do kind of consider myself a writer. I think about writing probably a good like fourth of my day easily e or even more. So I don't know. It's just a little interesting. Um, the next one also really resonated. Obviously all these quotes I picked because they kind of resonated with me. If you are working on something and you feel like the floor falls out from under you whenever you open up your document, don't give up. A year can make a big difference. And that resonated with me, obviously, because I hope to be done with my book in a year. But yeah, I just, it, it is true. Like a year can totally, that's 365 days, which doesn't seem like a long time in the grand scheme of things, but it really is. It could be, um, the next one is she said that there's a lot to be said for just putting your butt in the chair and that was definitely another one that I was like, all right, Sarah, I get it. I need to just sit down and write um, or fate or whatever. I was like, all right, I get it. I just need to like sit down and write every day whether I want to or not. Um, so yeah, we'll see if that happens. Uh, she also talked about the first 25 pages are great. It's like falling in love with somebody and then it gets hard. And then she kind of talked about like how after that, like obviously if, when you're in a relationship, you um, like that's when you start to like have little like things that they bug you and just you end up having like talks and hard discussions and just all of that. And it's kind of the same way with writing. And I, she, in like this whole part of the discussion, she was talking about like, um, like finishing something and how there's so many good writers out there but then they don't finish anything because when it gets hard they they just kind of give up and that was another one I was like all right Sarah you're talking directly to me over here um but yeah she also talked about how she taught creative writing for two years and I didn't know that um so that was really cool to learn about her um and today was her birthday which was super awesome so yeah, once again, I, even though there was that little bit of like miscommunication about whether or not we could record or get pictures um, during the event, I'm still just so glad that there was a signing for an author that like I read in Memphis because that never happens. So yeah, I'm just so excited. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, let me know if there's been any signings in your area or if you're like me and you end up having to travel or you just never get to meet your favorite authors um, because same. And subscribe if you haven't already. I put up videos twice a week and they are usually planner or book related. So yeah, I will see you guys really, really soon with another video. Bye.